Hey guys, this is Odd One Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. So today's video is is one of those ones that I'm really excited about because honestly, I have been waiting for uh, Bowman 90 Hard to come around so I can actually test out and see how easy or how hard this is actually going to be. What I'm talking about is obviously, as the thumbnail says, this is arguably the easiest champion to build for the sake of so long Bowman 90 on hard, and obviously it's gonna work on every other difficulty and level, but. As long as it works on 90 hard, it's it's the same. You wouldn't have to change the builds. You wouldn't have to change, you know, lower the speed, higher the speed, whatever. This one just works perfectly and easily that that way. And that's the one that's going on here in the back. Let me just, because I pre-recorded it. Obviously, it's still one of those runs that takes for, you know, takes a little bit. It takes around the... Uh, eight nine minutes but still it's faster than most of the solo solo builds and it's it's all using this champion over here lady annabelle the whole idea behind her is she's so amazing because of her kit like when she came out uh like uh around like months and a half ago when you know the, the, their previous tier three uh test server period when she came out and i saw her kit First thing that jumped into my mind was like, okay, she's going to be perfect for Bommel. The reason for that is one, her kit, and two, something that's usually really important and makes it a little bit easier, it's her affinity. So because she's spirit affinity, that makes her strong affinity to Bommel 90. What does, what does that mean? That means that she has a high chance of getting weak hit by Bommel, which means makes her a lot easier to survive against this boss. But yeah, this, this runs just... It's just simple, like first try, guys. I just put the team around there, put some stuff to die, and the first run that I actually did straight up full auto went without any issue. Not once did I think like, oh, am I gonna fail or not? No, everything went perfectly. So this is just what I'm showing you in the in the background, and uh, I'm not sure if it's there's any point for me to actually show you the run afterwards. You know, just play a, a song and let you see how it goes. It just goes as easily as you, as, as you see it goes over here. The whole idea of, about uh, these types of builds for, this, for the sake of Bomb on 90 is you're, you're trying to kind of use uh, that strategy of using somebody that solos Bomb on, that does not need high accuracy, that does not need high resistance because it's really, really hard to get those stats. So for example, in order to resist Bommel on 90 hard for placing the HP bars or those bombs that you see that he keeps placing, you need around 800 resist, which is kind of insane and extremely hard to do. At the same time, the, the dread bombs on the side that you see over there, they inflict 40% of your max HP as damage. So whoever you bring in here, you either have to, you know, bring somebody with a quirky kit or some way to, to uh, survive those. You either use a revive on death strategy or use a, a block damage strategy. Like I already have on my channel the Crimson Helm, solo but that one's a bit tricky because that one you do on manual and it's a little bit finicky if you get you know if you get two bombs from bubble you need to put the revive on that and all that i already have the samar build i already had some other solo builds but honestly from the ones that i've done so far this one seems the easiest for me and you know the i guess the most relatable one because Compared to the Samar one, it's so much easier to get an epic on your account than it is to get the legendary. I mean, yeah, you might still, you know, might be playing for two years and you might not still get her. However, if you do get her, I would 100% say just build her once for the sake of beating Bommel and you have to never worry about fighting Bommel ever again. If you're at the point where you're trying to, you know, farm this boss, then you would go for a different team. I mean, you can still use this team because, you know what? It's, it's nine minutes, you do the super raids, you put it in the background, you could still do it. But maybe you would preferably use a Geomancer build because that one makes it a little bit faster. But you know, let me, let's just scroll it forward and let me just show you how actually it goes. Like, there's not one second where like, I'm worried that, oh, she's gonna die, it's gonna be a problem. No, everything just goes smoothly. It's perfectly smoothly. And at the same time, you know what? I didn't even look at my previous, <clears throat> I didn't even look at my previous builds for like, oh, what did I do for the sake of Samar? Or what did I do for somebody else? I just straight up said, okay, let me give her 250 plus speed and make her be survival in region plus immortal. And boom, here's the result. Eight minutes, 34. This is the fastest solo I've done on my account. I've done faster teams, like I said, with Geomaster, but for the sake of a solo, this is the easiest and the fastest. So let's have a quick look at her, at her, uh, Kit and then at her build and why is she so good 
So like I said, for the sake of bombs, you keep to, you want to keep uh, healing, so basically you don't get killed by the bombs. <coughs> bombs that he places from the HP burn or for the dread bombs on the side. So what she has is on the A1 look, I don't even have books. I even forgot, no books even on her. It's just mind blowing. No books, no nothing, just masteries, level 60 and you're good to go. So what she has on her A1, she hits, uh, she hits one enemy twice. Each hit heals by 3% of her max HP. That's basically like having two sets of immortal on her straight up whenever she does the a1 and as you saw on the presets all that i did on the presets honestly was let me just actually show you that first and then continue looking at uh, looking at this because all that she has on her pre presets is just this lock out everything so for the waves you don't really care on the boss part just lock out her a2 a3 you only want her doing a1 and that's it and she, she did it as easily as you saw as you saw over there so let's let's continue and look at the uh <clears throat> The other part of her kit, so this is the A1. Then the A2, she has an AoE with 100% chance when booked to place a leech and also a chance to place decreased speed on uh, targets who have less than 15% turn meter. This might come in handy for the sake of like Hydro or some other stuff like that. Then on her A3, she swaps HP with the, with the target ally. If the a champion's HP is equal to or higher than the targets, after swap places revive on death buff on the target ally for two turns. If it's the other way around, she places revive on death on herself. Also places 30% increased speed buff on all allies. So you could use her as an increased speed champion for the sake of Hydro as well. It's on a 4 turns cooldown. But we're not talking about Hydro, we're talking about uh, Bomber right now. And now we're going to come to the part where she's, where, where you know, the, the passive is all that it's about. I mean, it's actually the passive and the A1. <clears throat> that's, that's the thing that makes her especially amazing for Bomber. And that's this one. Heals this champion by 50% of their max HP whenever an ally or an enemy dies. So basically, you're not going to be killing Bommel, but every time the dread bombs die, she uh, like sorry die explode, she gets 50% of her max HP. This is basically the same uh, the same passive that Burangiri has, and from what we've seen before, there was you know people didn't have strong enough gear to actually make Burangiri work. For the sake of stage, uh, for the sake of stage 90 heart. Maybe now when we have, you know, when we have the blessings and we're gonna get the artifact ascension, uh, ascension and stuff, Burangiri might work for 90 heart as well. But I don't think it, it's quite there yet because Burangiri's force affinity, she's spirit, which means, like I said, she takes less damage and she's gonna, you know, she's uh, the bo the boss is gonna weak hit. The the beauty about this one is the fact that the dread bombs do damage equal to 40% of your max HP, but she heals for 50% of her max HP. So all that you care about is to never fall to the point where she only has 40% max HP, which we saw that we, we never got to that point. It was, it was pretty easy. It was pretty easy and pretty amazing. And you know what? I don't even have the best regen and immortal in my account. I have two pieces of five star legendary immortal, and then I have four pieces of regeneration set that are rares. They're rare pieces. They're six star, but they're rare. So it's not it's not like oh my god, it's you know top tier end game gear, it's impossible to do. It's it's you know the stats that I have on her are 253 speed, didn't care about resist, didn't care about accuracy, 75k HP, 3.5k defense. That's not too crazy. My Samar needs around 80, 90 percent uh, 90,000 HP, 3 3.5, 4k defense to actually do it uh you know pretty easily. And she does it 10 times easier. Like that's I don't know, she's She's just insane. When it comes to the masteries, you kind of want to obviously take... Uh, don't really care about crit crit damage because she's not going to do the craziest damage. You only care about the War Master. Get that War Master in there because this one's going to do, you know, the damage to, to make the boss die faster. And also Life Drinker does help because if you do get under 50% HP, whenever she attacks, if she procs War Master with this heal, she heals herself back up and that makes it pretty easy. Then on the support, she went with stats fast for a little bit of extra HP and then I took lay on hands for a little bit more heal because this affects her a1 this affects the immortal set and this affects the regeneration set so keep that in mind this is this is definitely helping for the sake of the of the hp then again uh, healing savior if she drops under 40 percent hp she's gonna heal by a little bit more when she gets a third so this helps you to like never be under that 40 percent threshold that i mentioned then this one doesn't really doesn't really matter does because it doesn't help with anything a cycle of magic again does not help maybe i could take cycle of magic for the sake of like if i would use them the same build in high in hydro but i don't think i would do that because in hydro we need higher uh 
higher accuracy and all that and then at the bottom i took the spirit haste one because everybody's gonna die you're gonna get another 24 speed plus i used fushan as the lead you can use anybody it doesn't have to be specifically fushan you can use ursala the mourner you can use anybody that gives her a little bit more speed they can die on the waves or on the boss part and then when she gets there she does it as you saw i had fushan and uh her deck for the sake of the waves just so i kill the waves faster and then when i get to the boss you saw that even though I was there with the with the other champions, she's still fine. Like for example with Samar, the way that you want to do it, you want to get to the boss alone. Otherwise you can fall out of sync. For her, she doesn't even care. You can get a full team back at Samar, everybody dies. Obviously you don't want to get uh, bombs to be on your champions and then those ones fall and she gets stunned. You just want to get nukers in there so you kill the ways fast. They die pretty fast when you get to the, to the boss part and you're good to go. But yeah, she's she's pretty amazing. She has a uh, no blessing side, so this is awesome. I feel like honestly, this is from my point of view the easiest build for the sake of soloing Bommel on 90 hard or any other place because, like I showed you, you just need Regen and Immortal. It might even work without the Immortal because she has the Immortal inbuilt in her A1. Just need the speed, 250 speed. You just need healing on her. You don't need books and mastery. So this should be honestly achievable by everybody that has her. So I do hope this helps you guys and like I said, I was really excited, I'm really, you know, I'm really happy to, to see this champion because she's, I think I'm just gonna keep her belt and she's gonna be the one that always does Bommel for me, unless I decide to farm it, then I would change to a Geomancer, <clears throat> Geomancer build. One thing to keep in mind, make sure you have at least three people alongside with her, so you get the full 24 speed from here, because you get one for each that ally, so you have only two, it's 16, you need three to get to that 24, because you know, the faster she is the better you definitely want to be at least 200 and like 50 60 speed because you want to go one to one for each time the boss goes the faster you go a little the better you know with, with that master you might she might get an extra turn every like two three four four turns she might get an extra turn to heal more but yeah this is gonna be it for the video today guys if you do enjoy my content don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm gonna see you all in the next one peace love take care everyone bye guys